In this video, we're going to be going over how to create a bridge in Onshape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on my front face here. Uh, let's take a look at our front face. And the first thing that we're going to grab is we're going to grab our line tool. And I'm just going to click in my center point. And let's say we want to make our bridge 10 feet long. All righty. So there's our 10 foot long bridge. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my line tool. And just on both sides of our bridge, I'm going to come down. Let's do two inches. And we'll go on our other side. Two inches. Um, so that's going to be the thickness of our bridge. And now uh, we're going to grab our arc tool. And we're going to go from top point to top point. Um, and again, we can really make this come down at any point. Let's say 140, sure. We'll grab our bottom point to bottom point, and we'll just call that 140 again. So we now have this nice arced path right here. Um, so what we're going to do now, let's grab our line tool. Uh, let's go to the smack dab bottom, and then let's just draw out inches let's come back and let's say four inches oh this got crooked there we go let's just grab right in the center point again go over two inches we'll go straight up two grab our line tool again go to the other side two i did not like that let's try that again Two, not 24, two, and we'll connect. Okay, so we have our little two by four um, wood plank right here that we'll be extruding in a minute. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our circular pattern tool. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna click on the uh, lines of our little two by four plank right here. There we go. And what we're going to do now is with the circular pattern tool, let's grab this center point and let's actually lock that onto the very top point just like that. And uh, this part right here, this is going to get a little funky. Um, and we're going to just type in a very large number. So let's say 140. So this is going to make 140 of these um, in a circular pattern. Um, and we can see the, the gap in between these planks. So maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I say 175. There we go. Okay, so now they're a lot closer. I mean, we, we could make them as far apart or as close together as we want. Um, but we'll just stick with that and we'll say, okay. So this is going to, it's going to draw 175 of these. Holy smokes. Okay, uh, let's go back into this sketch and let's, let's delete a couple of these. So let's go to about right there. Sure. We'll delete that out. So now we'll only have a couple the ones that we want for our bridge. So let's zoom in on here. Let's delete these other three. We don't need these. And let's go check out this side. We can delete these three as well. That looks good. We'll say finish sketch. Uh, and so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. Let's click our extrude. And I'm just going to go by and I'm going to kind of just click um, all of these different wood planks all the way down the line. And then we will come back and change the colors of these um, once we get all of them drawn and extruded. All right, so we selected all of those. Let's just say we want to make this 36 inches, three feet across. And now we have the start to our bridge. We can, of course, highlight all of this. We can go to our appearance panel and we could uh, add a new face. And simply, if we want a green bridge, now we have a green bridge. Okay, so again, if we kind of look at this, we see all of our uh, two by four wood planks. And if we notice, you know, they're not really touching right there. So um, if this was, you know, a real bridge, these would probably fall apart. Um, so what we're going to do uh, to connect all of these is we are uh, going to uh, put a rope or a few ropes in between these, um, just like a bridge at a playground. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my plane tool 
And let's do it on the front face here. And we're going to go out uh, nine inches here. And we'll say, okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to start a sketch on this first plane. And let's look at our front view here. Uh, I'm going to just measure about, let's just say, halfway through our bridge. We can come down here and let's just say one inch. Let's go over to, uh, oh yeah, we'll have to draw a line over there. So we'll just make our 10 foot line again. We're gonna go down one inch. And then simply again, we can grab our arc tool, go from our middle point to our middle point, And we can make this angle 140. And we can say finish sketch. So what we're gonna do now, let's rotate this. Let's make a sketch on this little side face right here. And we're just gonna draw um, the actual rope or the thickness of the rope right here. So we can do a little circle. We'll say, I don't know, let's do half an inch. We'll say okie dokie green check mark and we'll do sweep. So we're gonna click on our face, our circle face right there, click our sweep path and then choose our path. And when we say, okay, we can now see that there is, hey, there is our rope holding all of our wood planks together. Okay, so let's finish this off. Let's get another one in there and we'll call it a bridge. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my plane tool again. Uh, let's go to this plane one and we'll just move this out. Let's say 18 inches. We'll say, okay. And we're just gonna repeat the step that we just did. So I'm gonna grab my sketch tool Let's uh, draw on this new face of our plane. Let's measure down an inch. We'll need to redraw our 10 foot line all the way across. We'll go down one inch and then let's grab our arc tool again, go from middle point all the way to middle point and we'll call this one again, let's just say 140, and we'll say okie dokie. So next thing again we're gonna do, let's do a sketch on this side face again. Let's grab our circle, line it up with our path. We'll do 0.5, finish that up, sweep it, sweep that circle face, and sweep it on that path, and we'll say okay. So there is how you would do a bridge uh, in Onshape, and again, uh, at any point, if we want to go back and change our colors, just like these ropes right here, like we have one that looks like maybe some steel cable and we have some that, you know, it's blue. We want to make those the same. Uh, so what we could do is, again, we could go to our appearance panel right here, go to the last two, uh, and let's just make these both the same. We'll say, let's say a light gray, okie dokie. Click on this, we'll do light gray again and say green check mark. So now here is our bridge for our playground. So this is just one example of how you can make a bridge uh, within Onshape.